Hey guys, good day, good day everybody. Grace Ministries USA with Ryan Carr's Breakthrough. I want to talk about something real quick. Um, one, I'm not a pastor. Two, I am not claiming a denomination, a religion. I'm a Jesus follower. Jesus died on the cross. He shed his blood to pay for our sins. We confess this we believe it in our heart that is that is what i believe so technically it makes me a christian but i'm ashamed of a lot of the christians in our society they claim to be christian but they don't live that way they go to church on sunday monday they're gossiping and they've already forgot about the message our culture is crumbling our culture is crumbling there's too many denominations okay we need to get back to the one that created it all that made the world that put us here that pulled us out of eternity plucked us out of eternity put us in space and time with the mission with a vision I don't know about you guys but I have a vision for America and the vision that I see for America is a godly vision it is a culture filled with people that help each other that don't judge each other that don't talk behind each other's back that don't lie on each other about each other that aren't jealous and envy of what they're doing see this vision is how i live my life it's how i was born and raised and it's what i believe internally it's inside of me it's in my heart it has to be a heart decision. Let's talk about why I'm dressed so pathetically today. I'm coming from the gym. Just like we exercise our spiritual muscles, guys, we have to exercise our physical muscles as well. I've been working out since I was 18. I've always believed in that, but I never really understood how it connected to the Bible, how working out physically is connected to your emotions, which are connected to your mental capabilities, your mental acuities. It's all connected, guys. It's all connected. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I'm not going to read today's devotional. I'm having an issue getting onto the hot spot, and I don't have it memorized. So I want to talk about what I was reading this morning, uh, Philippians 4, 4 through 7. When you look at these verses, guys, it's powerful. It's powerful. The Bible gives us a roadmap. It tells us what to do, how to live, how to engage the world that we are in, not to give in to culture, not to, not to give in to, I hate to say this, I hate to say this, but not to give in to the 10 different genders, okay? There is one God that created two genders, okay, man and woman. And that is my stance because of what is written in the Bible. That is what I believe what is written in the Bible. Those are God's holy words, right? Everybody has their own opinion on things. But for me personally, it's about the Bible and spending time in God's word and doing things for him, living that code so no matter how you look at it guys if you do not do the things that are listed in the bible let's say don't lie don't cheat don't steal you're gonna you're gonna experience some heavy consequences because actions have consequences we don't live in sin we're not called to a life of sin okay that's your flesh your flesh is failing you try not to sin and when you do sin try not to do it again repent and ask for forgiveness guys because you i need you to get this i need you to understand this because you are made in the image of god okay think about that you are made in the image of god you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. What does that mean? <laughs> it means we have a guide. He 
urges us along. He nudges us along. We can feel it, okay? It's inside of you. You feel those urges, those nudges, those still small voices. That is the Holy Spirit living inside of you, guiding your life in the direction that it's meant to be. Where we go wrong is we want to take over and guide our lives. We want to live in sin. Let me talk for myself. I want to live in sin and I want to have God too. I want to do good and help people, but I also want to do the things that I enjoy doing. And once you get to a place where you're tired of that life and living that way with those consequences, because they will come, they will be heavy, and they will knock you off of your feet. When you get back up, when you decide to stop the nonsense, when I decided to stop the nonsense, when I decided to start living right, that is when things changed for me. That is when things started getting better. So I'm not here to lecture anybody. I'm not here to tell you what to do. And again, forgive the outfit. I'm out here with um, Lola and Violet. I went to the, um, oh, you can't see them. I went to the gym and then I went and grabbed these two and brought them out here to the lake, get a, get a little exercise before uh, I start pressure washing my home and doing some homework. But I wanted to make this video, guys, it's on my heart. God is on my heart because every day when I wake up, I get in the word, I study the word, I spend time with God, I get alone with God, and I ask him for direction, guys, and he will give you what you ask for. That is one of his many promises. So let's go ahead and pray. Let's get you out for your day, your week, whatever's going on. God, I pray, Father God, that anything that I said, Father, that touches somebody's heart, Lord, that it changes them in a way that aligns with your will for their life, God. That is my prayer, Lord, that we get back on track, Father God, that we start to live right and righteousness for you, for your will, for our life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Share this message with somebody if it encouraged you in any way, if it brings you any type of hope, if it uplifted you just from something positive I said, give us a thumbs up. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to grow the message and not for financial reasons. I do not care about that. I am good to go financially. I don't need money to be happy. I'm plenty happy with no money. So cool. That is not the goal, okay? That might be the goal of a lot of people. Honestly, it's hard for me to even believe in myself that I don't even care about that. But that's just the point where I'm at after 2020, 21, 22, this year, things are bad, life's hard, it's going to get worse and we need Jesus and we need to stick together and we need to lift people up in prayer. We need to lift Biden up in prayer. We need to lift our country up in prayer. We need to lift our leaders up in prayer, okay? Enough of this judgmental garbage both sides, Republican, Democrat, sorry to get political for a second, but these guys need our prayer. That's our job. Besides voting and all the other crap that goes into it, we have got to pray for our leaders. I've been praying for Biden. It's hard. It's hard, man. It is shit, man. But you know something? It's getting easier. It's getting easier. God's working on me. I asked him to change my desires. I prayed for that. God, please make me like you. Make me new. Make me who it is that you want me to be. That's what I pray all the time. But we got to lift our leaders up, guys. We can't just sit here and judge them and be all, Ugh. what is that? What is that? What is that? That's all I see on social media. That's it. Everybody complaining, whining, crying. Nobody doing anything. Nobody praying. Nobody coming together to help each other. It's just a bunch of nonsense. So in my community where I live, we work together. We help each other. 
We, we, we meet weekly, we do Bible studies, we do all kinds of stuff. And that is what you have to do in order to be in alignment with God's will. Get involved, help people, build a community. That's where it's at. If something ever happens, if we go to war or whatever, worst case scenario, that's where you want to be, in a community of people. They love and care about you. They can help you in those difficult times. That is what we're trying to do. That is what we're trying to do. Bring Americans together with one mission to live, to be free, to be happy, raise our families, and be left alone. I don't think that's too much to ask. And most of the people in my community don't think so either. So that's where we are. That's what we do. If you'd like to be part of that, subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the videos from time to time and help us grow the channel and get the message out. It's important. It's important. This is our time to stand up. Our forefathers and our forefathers and our forefathers and all the people that have gone before us fought the fight that we are in now and they persevered just like we have to as well. Go do it. Be great. God bless you.